hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel miss crochet and coffee here and today we have an unboxing now i'm not sure where this unboxing is from i might be kind of thinking that it's from one place i'm not sure if you guys remember i said i was getting a custom of bev b diamond paints that's here on youtube i'm not sure if it's that custom or not so we'll figure it out as soon as we get into it but i hope you're having a wonderful wonderful day if you have not guessed i am still sick so my voice is going to sound a little bit different i do apologize if this bothers somebody or if you can't hear me i'm not used to not being able to be loud and obnoxious so th this is new for me too but with that said let's go ahead and get into this i hope you're all having a wonderful wonderful day so let's see here i feel like i should be broadcasting the news or something with the way my voice sounds right now <laughs> like this is weird for me to be quiet because i already told y'all i never shut up i never shut up so this is this has been an experience nonetheless this is going on day four without a voice so we're going to try to cut into this as nicely as possible. We're going to try to get into this. Now I did rip part of this off because I didn't know why that, oops, sorry, that part was on there. So I did rip that off uh, when I first got it because I was trying to figure out where exactly this came from. There was a company that I was asked to check out and I went over and bought one of their images, but it's been a while since I've heard anything about the image. So I'm not sure if this is it or not. And the tracking that I have has a different tracking number. So I don't know where this is from. So let's see here so we can cut. I'm trying to keep it on this side so you guys don't see my address because you don't need to see where I live. So let's see here. All right, so just a plain white box, of course. No branding, I don't like that. <laughs> doesn't tell me anything, doesn't tell me where I got it from. Branding is very important, you guys. If you ever think about starting a diamond painting business, please know branding is very important. It's how you get your name out there and get people to know who you are, okay? So. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Okay, box is empty. Oh, no. Okay, so if you don't know why I'm saying, oh, no. One, that hurt. Two, this is double-sided adhesive. If you don't know what that is, it's like double-sided tape. Miss Coffee don't do double-sided adhesive. I'm, I'm a diamond painting snob. These are things we know. I don't work with double-sided adhesive, so they already lose cool points. One, because there's no branding on the box to tell me what it is, which means it's not my custom because my custom would not have come and poured or uh, double-sided adhesive. And you can also tell because it says twin adhesive. Like, I don't care how you say it. It's double-sided tape. I don't like working with double-sided tape. There's too many errors that can happen with it, but I'm still gonna give it a try and show you guys. Maybe I'll give it away at a later date. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look to see what it is, if it's what I think it is. Yes, it is. All right, so we're gonna slowly unroll this. I have not unboxed a double-sided adhesive kit in many years. Now, I've only been on YouTube for four years, but it's been a long time since I've done a double-sided adhesive kit, and I'm sorry. If you are a company coming out nowadays, this is from Jim's Flow, okay? Jim's Flow is over on, uh, luckily it's not big. Jim's Flow is over on Facebook. I was asked to check this company out, um, so I got one of their images. I did ask if their images were licensed, and um, I'm going to put in the response right here. Um they told me that they were, or that they were stock photos or whatnot. Um, I went and looked this image up and I could not find an artist. So I was like, I'm just gonna pick one. And if it's found that it's the, the company is not legit, I will do like I did with the other company and I will let you guys know, totally putting them on blast. Um, so you get a basic pumpkin spice tool kit, which is a pair of cheap tweezers, some diamond painting wax, which actually looks really good. You get a white boat, a funnel, and a clear pin with a three placer on it. I don't care about that. Um, we do have an inventory sheet. Oh my God, it's been forever since I've done a kit like this. Uh, it does have an inventory sheet. 
I'm feeling like dirt or something coming off the top of this. I don't know. Um, this kit has 38 colors. And as you can see, they're in those bags. So our inventory sheet is checked off. But as you guys know, we don't trust nobody here on the Coffee House channel. So uh, we will be checking to make sure we have all of our drills. So let me pause you real quick so I can go grab a pen. All right, so I got my pen. I'm going to take a seat here. So we are going to check to make sure that we have all the drills because one of the big key components of a diamond painting is making sure you have all your drills because if you're missing drills, obviously you're not going to have a good time waiting for them to get to you. Now this didn't take horribly long to get to me and I will put up the time frame that I ordered it and when I got it because I just got it on Saturday I want to say. So, So I'll put Saturday down there to remind myself to put the timestamps and stuff in here. But I'm going to go ahead and check this and see what all came with it and if everything is there. And I'll be right back. You guys are probably going to listen to some relaxing music and a time lapse. So let's get started. <laughs> like all the colors are here and accounted for um i'm not seeing any massive like dirt or anything on the drills but they are round as you can see now when i tell you i'm a diamond painting snob that just means i prefer pour glue over double-sided tape Double-sided tape to me has too many cosmetic issues and I don't think that I should have to put more work into it after diamond painting, like uh, making sure there's no bubbles or ripples or uh, rivers in the kit, making sure to seal it so that the drills don't fall off because double-sided tape isn't as tacky as uh, the pour glue. So I'm, I'm just not the biggest fan of double-sided adhesive. This is no offense to anyone that does like double-sided adhesive, but the way my life is set up, no thank you. But I will give it a chance because it's a company that I'm pretty sure some of you have never heard of, so Jim's Flow. But we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this kit here. So I'm gonna, now with these kinds of kits, and like I said, it's been a while and I know I have quite a few new people on my channel. You've never seen me unbox, probably, unless you've gone back and watched older videos. You've never seen me unbox a double-sided kit on the channel before. So I'm going to try to do this as carefully as possible. So when you're lifting this up, you want to be super careful because if you do it too fast, you can cause issues in the tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently peel this corner back here and you have to watch to make sure as well because with double-sided tape sometimes the ends come up so you could end up pulling the tape off so you want to be very careful that you're just getting the cover paper and then we're just going to very carefully pull this up so far it's not presenting with any type of uh, cosmetic damage and I did find a way to rectify storing these long term. If you take uh, some um, parchment paper, if you do squares or full sheets, if you cover this in parchment paper, it will actually keep the bubbles and rivers and stuff out of your kit while you store it away if you don't plan on working on it right away. And you can also get it to lay flat like you can a poured glue kit if you pull the cover paper back. And the sad part is I really, really like this image. So I might actually try to work on this just because I really did like the image. It's a fox, if you can't tell. I'll get my big arm out of the way here in a second. There we go. And we're gonna zoom you out a little bit. We're gonna, oh, nope, that's zooming in. There we go. So it's a very detailed little fox and a picture of it will pop up on the screen for you that is on the website. 
Um, I really like this fox because, of course, I like foxes. And it's a detailed fox, but the outer edges are a lot of color blocking. But it gives you a healthy assortment of color blocking and confetti. So we're going to go ahead and take a look uh, down at the kit itself to check out the drill field to make sure it's nice and clear. Again, I am, I, I'm not trying to hate on double-sided tape. It just has a lot of cosmetic issues. So as we look down here, please tell me they don't have M and H on here. They do not. So that symbol you're seeing right here, which might be glared a little bit because of the lighting, um, but it is H as in Harry. <coughs> Excuse me. So it looks like it does have training wheels or also known as dummy circles. Again, I'm not trying to offend anybody by saying dummy circles. It's what some people know it as. Um, they are the dark black lines you see around the symbol that tells you where to put the diamonds. Now, one of the reasons I don't like this, if I would have known that this was a double-sided kit, double-sided tape kit, I probably honestly would not have purchased it. Um, but, but that's okay. Now, this is one of the reasons why I don't like kits that have the training wheels on them, because if you do not lay the drills down perfectly on this area, which is the lighter colors, you will see those black lines come through because it's a lighter color. Now, on the fox itself, because it's such a dark orange and brown, you may not see the dark circles underneath it if you don't place your drills properly. Um, me, I'm kind of a messy driller, so sometimes I don't get the drill directly on the training wheel, and I end up seeing a lot of the black lines, which looks kind of weird uh, if you're standing closer to it than you should. But because these are supposed to be viewed at a distance, you probably won't notice it too much. But I know I will because my OCD won't help me. I can't help myself. I'll see it. But again, we're going to give it a try. It's something new. And you guys know I don't do good with change, but I've done double-sided kits before. When I first started, um, there weren't a whole lot of poor glue companies out there. It looks like the symbol clarity is really good, so I will give them that. Again, it has 38 colors from Gems Flow over on Facebook. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull this paper down. So we can measure it to make sure it measures true to size. Now, I did not get a big print. They do have these in a variety of different sizes. I chose to get a smaller print. Um, but of course, with diamond painting, uh, you're going to get what you pay for. So if you get a smaller print, you might not get that detail that you want. So uh, just make sure if they give you the option and you want it to have the best detail possible, you're going to want to go as big as you can. Um, Usually, I would say no bigger than like an 80 by 80 is necessary. Sometimes it is depending on the image, but so yeah, I'm not seeing any type of damage or anything to this particular kit. Now, this particular kit, what I would do to store it is one, I'm going to have to replace this paper. I don't know what it is about this paper that they put on it, but if I were to leave it like this and put it up in the closet in my storage room um, for my kits, if I were to put it up there just like this, it would probably bubble before I got back to it. I'm trying to get all the bubbles that I made taking the cover paper off. So what you're hearing is all the bubbles that developed in between the between the cover paper and the kit itself. I wanna get this as flat as possible because then what I'm going to do is, it sounds like paper tearing, doesn't it? It's a little ASMR for you. All right, I know, I know, I'm not as good as Rachel Ray with the ASMR. Anyways, um, so how I would store this is I would take a trouser hanger or a pant hanger, say from like Walmart or a clothing store that has the two clamps on it you would put the two clamps on the top or the side of the diamond painting. I prefer doing it on the top. And then I would just hang it in the closet like a pair of pants. Usually you can do this with like three or four different kits, uh, depending on the weight of the kit. This isn't a big kit, so I should be able to do this with this kit uh, just fine. If you have a heavier kit, you're gonna probably wanna use two pant hangers. Um, so we're gonna measure this to see if it measures true to size. So this is supposed to be a 35 by 55. And we're measuring glue to glue because we're only 
we're, we're drilling the drill area, not the entire canvas. So I want to make sure that, you know, my canvas is going to give me what it's supposed to give me. So I got 35 that way, which means more than likely this way will give me 55. So we're going to put it right on where the glue starts. Yes, it's actually a little bit over on both sides. So it does definitely give you uh, the true size. So let's, let's go back and do a couple of pointers. One, I wish they put the branding on their boxes so you know what it is. Two, I do wish that they would transition a pour glue just because it's something that's going to last you a little bit longer and it doesn't have as many cosmetic issues longer down the road. Three, I do wish that they would uh, get rid of the training wheels on the canvas because again, on those lighter colors, if you do not place them perfectly, if you multi-place, you're going to have to go back and fix each drill. And uh, unless you do one by one or use a, like a diamond painting ruler, it's, it's going to cause like a little bit of issue when working on them. It's one of the reasons why I stopped working on double-sided tape kits because they do it takes a little longer to work on them and they do end up getting cosmetic issues over time um not always but most in in my experience i've i've had issues with some of my double sided tape after like a couple of months or so like you'll notice drills missing or something like that so you're going to want to make sure you seal this because the glue on this isn't going to be as strong as poured glue but as long as you seal it it should be fine um, it, again, it has 38 colors. It measures true to size. The drill quality looks good. They're not super sparkly, but they don't look trashy and they don't look like they have a bunch of knobbly bits, which I won't know for sure until I actually break it open and start working on it. Um, I'm still unsure if I will work on it just because, again, I really don't like double-sided tape, but maybe this is a change that I need. Um, so I might work on it. We'll see later on down the road. If you don't see me work on it in the next couple of months, more than likely I'll just probably put it in a giveaway or something, but it is adorable. I really love the image and it's a 35 by 55 is the size that I got this in. And I'm glad I got it in this size because it looks like it still is going to give me a lot of good detail. Now, I don't need to hear the heart, the, I don't need to smell the, the fox's breath or anything. I don't need to hear his heartbeat, but I wanted enough detail where you could see that fox's face. And I did get that with this kit. The symbol clarity looks really good. So would Miss Coffee tell you guys to check them out? I would definitely tell you to check them out. I know I'm not a big stickler for double-sided tape. That doesn't mean that somebody else in the community isn't. And a lot of the stuff that I point out uh, could just be, you know, it's, it's my own personal opinion. If you feel that this is a kit or this is a company you would like to check out, please do so by checking the description box of this video where I will have this company linked. But until then, I hope you guys stay safe out here in these crafty streets. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Any other comments? questions or anything like that, please leave those down in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But with that said, folks, I'm going to go rest my voice now because I, I'm starting to realize that this, this is starting to hurt. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Stay crafty, stay caffeinated, and stay safe. Wear your mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face in public, keep your six feet, and always try to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye guys.